What's up, everybody? Can you hear me? I want to know if you can hear me. What's up, Cody? And that junkie, thank you very much for tuning in. So, give everybody a second to, to join with their names. And we'll start talking. Start showing off the first figure. So is the, uh, the video quality and the audio okay for you guys before I start? I don't know if I need to change anything. <clears throat> cool. It's good to know. Yeah. Yep, it's a Dr. A figure. So, I guess we shall begin. Let me send out a tweet real quick. See if I can get can't get a couple more people to uh, to join. All right. Thank you for the tweet, Cody. Six viewers now. Cool. All right, let's start. So this is a Pober Toys figure. It's called the uh, the Humphrey Mooncalf. So a little bit on Pober. These guys, I think, released. This might be their actually their first figure. They released the uh, the Vertigray edition, which was like a bronze with a patina. Um, this is the retail exclusive uh, Dapper edition, they are calling it. Um, so yeah, Pober is brand new to the scene. This is their first figure with Dr. A. Um, they have another figure coming out with Mad pretty soon. 
I think it's called the um, uh, Mork figure. We've seen little wax sculpts and stuff of that. Um, and actually we saw a prototype of it at San Diego Comic-Con, um, as well as this one, which was seen first at San Diego Comic-Con at the DKE booth. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the packaging. Pretty basic packaging, which is fine by me. doesn't have to be anything crazy. In fact, the simpler the better. That means they can put more money into the toy itself for production, keep the cost down as well. So, uh, oh, this little guy just fell. And feel free to ask any questions, guys, um, while I'm talking, and I can um, address those. Uh, so yeah, packaging super simple. On the back it says Humphrey Mooncalf had an annoying problem with his I can't read that traffic number four nano clockwork brain. Repeated trips to the local watchsmith eventually uh, proved a great success. The pain held at bay by the simply loosening his cranial retaining rivets this however means that he can no longer look up such a shame as he does so love the moon so pretty tough to read script writing but that's the story All right, let's go and open this guy up yeah with the packaging um, that junkie says on the chat he says good point um, it's so true. Look at some of the stuff that MindStyle puts out. Their, uh, their their packaging is just way too extravagant for a lot of people's liking. I mean, it's cool and all, and being a designer, I really like seeing that. Just seeing the the, the boundaries that can be pushed with that, but it's just it's it's unneeded. Uh, so you can see this is basic um, clamshell packaging with this as well on the inside fully displaying the, the figure. Um, this thing is huge. It's a, it's a lot bigger than I think a lot of people anticipated. Uh, I think it stands like 8 inches tall. Let me just double check. Yeah, 8 inches tall. Um, and you can see the, the patina on the actual figure itself. Let's go take it out. So there's the um, the body portion of the figure. It stinks real good. Looks like it's got an articulated head. Um, let me go and grab the other pieces too. So it's got a hat, or the I should say the second part of the head, right there. Got a very tough to get out brain stem. <laughs> I think this actually goes into the hat. And it's foolproof. It's got a key. So you can see it's not a square. It's got that little chunk taken out of the corner. So this is the way that it goes. I hope. Yeah. So it sits in like that. Pretty cool. And then there's also a little accessory. A little, a little key handle. Which goes in the back. Nice and snug. Pretty cool. Alright, so this fits in like so and I don't see why Humphrey couldn't look up because that thing sits in there very snug that is a seriously cool figure um, the paint on it I guess we could talk about the, the quality of the paint it's a soft vinyl. You can see it's, it's fairly squishy. Squishy. Um, one point of articulation, unless you count the head, which turns as well, 
or unless you count the key too, which turns, but basically it's just the head, so you can kind of set him on his tripod figures, tripod legs. Um, the paint application on a lot of the uh, finer details, there's a little bit of, I guess you could call it overspray, um, but, you know, it's not too noticeable. Uh, I really do like the patina on the figure, on the mustache itself, kind of the, the way they painted that on there, and the rivets really give it a nice bronze, um, I don't know, metallic look. This thing looks like a machine. Uh, let's see, a little size comparison. So, here's a 3-inch dunny. So you can see that thing is giant. It's a it's a full eight inches. Uh, all right, so some some specs on this. Like I said, this is a retailer exclusive, so you can't get these through Pober Toys, um, but you can. I don't know if they have the Vertigreed edition. No, it's sold out. Ah, come on, focus camera. Focus. Here we'll get you some close-up shots. If it wants to focus. There we go. Come on, camera. So you can kind of see the the overspray that I was talking about right there on the on the red coat and on the chain. But it's definitely not a deal breaker. There we go. Um Here's the inside of the head. Pretty cool how they incorporated that. The hat's pretty cool too. Uh, retailer exclusive, so basically you can get this at any um, vinyl retail shop that opted to, to purchase it. There are only 250 of them made, and they are retailing for 85 bucks. If you think about it as you're paying 10 bucks or so for each inch of vinyl, that's it's not a bad deal. Eight inches of vinyl, 85 bucks. Um, Plus, I mean, you can see all the extra stuff it comes with, like the hat and the key, and um, it's a cool figure. And if you're a Doc A fan, this is this is definitely a must. Hey, toy head. So that junkie says I'm not really into tripod legs, though. Yeah, it is a little different, but it's definitely a machine aspect of it, and it sits well no matter which way you you turn them. So do you guys have any questions about this at all? Do you want to see anything else? Um, I think there's another version coming out. Like I said, there's the Vertigray edition, which is like all bronze with patina. This is the Dapper edition of Humphrey Mooncalf. And then there is... Uh, gosh, I'm not quite sure what the other one's called. Oh, it's like an, a black and gray one. Nocturnal moon calf, which is limited to 150 pieces. Uh, that's not going to be out for a little while, I don't think. So. But I would definitely recommend picking this thing up. Uh, so bug your, your local shop, your favorite retail shop. Uh, you can go to spankystokes.com and click on pretty much any of the, the banner ads 
for any of the shops that support the site. I'm sure that they have this figure in stock. Uh, 85 bucks. Going once, going twice, sold. Anybody else got any questions in the chat? If not, we can move on to the next item at hand. This came out, I would say, a couple weeks ago. Um... Yeah, I think it was first, like I said, first available or seen at San Diego Comic-Con 2011 on display at the DKE booth. And then uh, retailers were able to pick this thing up like like two, two, three weeks ago. So it's pretty new to the market. Oh, there's a little stamp on the base, too, you can see. It's got uh, Pover and Dr. A's um, stamp signature. All right, folks. Well, do me a favor. And hang tight, and I'll start up another one very shortly, right after this. Just hang in the chat, and when I start the new one up, it will um, it should kick right back in with more video, and we'll talk about the next figure. Sound good? Povertoys.com, Humphrey Mooncalf, Dr. A, Dapper Edition. Pick it up. 85 bucks. And it's just tall. Awesome. 